Anheuser-Busch, valued at approximately $95 million, as indicated by a regulatory filing. Uh, this move comes at a time when Anheuser-Busch has been grappling with significant sales decline in one of its key beer brands. Uh, the Gates Foundation's trust's investment reflects its confidence in that. It's just repeating itself. I feel like I'm just rereading the same fucking paragraph over again. But... There you go. Like, okay, let's try and fix this sort of thing. Like the same way with football. Like, okay, we did something. They didn't like it. So let's try and fix this thing so everybody's cool. Now, yeah, I know a lot of people didn't stop. All right, well, who's look getting who's involved back with in it? Back. See, th th and this is kind of a thing we need to address as a country. Like, we're all for, like, capitalism and, like, a free market and shit. But I I'm, I'm getting, like, you know, you see all these billionaires just buying up fucking companies. You see bigger banks buying out smaller banks. Uh, look at the grocery chains. Kroger just bought out Albertsons. And spent like... What, Aldi bought Wendy's. <laughs> $1.2 billion? Like, it's nothing. It's like, like demolition, man. Eventually, you get to the point, but we're keeping it secret for now, where every restaurant is Taco Bell. They were the ones that survived the franchise wars, you know? Everywhere right. we go, that's your choice now. But we live in this just mirage of choice to where all these, like you said, all these billionaires and all these like big uh, business interests start buying up all the smaller stuff, but you keep the name of the smaller thing. Yeah. So it gives you but the, the money. To, right. right. So you think you're going to, you know, to support Will's, them. yeah, right. Will's Steakhouse. But guess what? I bought that, but I have Tyler's Steakhouse, but we're going to keep it as Will's Steakhouse because right. people like the aesthetic. Cause, you know, we'll keep your regular people there because you did do some decent work, but I made you a pretty good offer and you, you went for it. So yeah. now we're partners. It's a merger. Sure it is. It's Somebody's holding the power card. It's ridiculous. Someone's got it. It's but, ridiculous. And, and, and you know, it's like, what, what? I'm getting, I'm Bill Gates out. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, I, like... What is this guy fucking doing? Like, I, like now he's like, what? Now he's going to give us fucking lessons on beer and how great beer... Like, he just has money and everything. Mm. Like, he's buying up all this fucking farmland. He's buying Nothing up beer. About he's, this. he's big on fucking Pfizer. He was a bit... Like, he was giving out medical advice. Like, I'm Bill Gates fucking mm. out. Like how you said about, like, where is late-stage capitalism and, and the so-called free market? If the market was truly free, then we could just go ahead and import a less regulated one from China. Yes? Yeah. Can we agree on that? <laughs> Why not? It's... Why not? But there are we're, plenty we're of no things. Better. Yeah, we're, we're no better than no. fucking China. No. We're really not. No. Uh, but there's another thing to kind of throw you off. This dropped this morning. Mexican politicians were shown two mummified corpses that a UFO expert claimed are a clear demonstration of non-human aliens. Mm. So the corpses are between 700 and 1,800 years old, with x-rays showing that one has mysterious eggs inside. UFO this is an interesting Can I ask term. a question, though? UFO what's, a, what's a human alien? Us. Or do they mean, like, illegals? <laughs> no. <laughs> Outer space. But, oh, a human alien? Yeah, maybe. just call just, them alien. Like, why not? A non-human alien, yeah. Well, because uh, it doesn't it's... resemble. I'm getting, yeah, I have to get into uh, what they That was just like a here. question. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, I just had good. to point that out, so. Yeah, so these specimens are not part of our terrestrial evolution. Uh, Jamie Mausson, who is a UF UFOlogist. I guess they couldn't call it a UFOlogist. It's a little too much, but... Um, yeah, I said, uh, supposed DNA testing on the small figures, they're, they're real tiny. They look like children, almost. They look like mum, mummified children, which oh, is probably shit. what they are now because the government's coming. I've, I've said it already. Now that you're coming out and going, okay, it's real, I'm like, is it though? Mm -hmm. Is what you're showing me and what you're telling me real? Right. Because you've denied it all this time. When there's been plenty of sightings and, you know, I get it, a lot of the video video evidence from the past is all, you know, speculative and everything like that. But, I mean, if you look back into, like, the Roswell situation and things seen around the world, mind you, and from lots of also random civilians, not only that, but a lot of prominent people in the military, especially the Air Force. Hmm. 
Which, of course, then, you know, down the line had me like, okay, maybe something came from somewhere, and we got the technology. Is it from another planet? I think it's more likely that it could be between dimensions. I don't think that we're... Unless they know how to do a, a wormhole. Never, but this, we, we know what the, all of this is, though. This is a distraction so that we are not paying attention to what's going on with Kim Kardashian's new haircut. Well, They don't want us to see it. You know what? I, I think there is some truth to it because, let me tell you this, Trump, the truth is Trump, out there. Trump started a space force. And <laughs> no, but hold on. Space Force. But they that was my fantasy football team name. But they haven't banned it. Like they didn't no, dismantle it's still around, it. Yeah. And they still get funding to that. So I I think there is something to be said of why they're investing money into this and they want to have some sort of defense or military presence in space because I think there is somewhat of a resemblance to it. Mm. Now I think they're little by little leaking stuff stuff out and again like you said distractions right here's my question that i was actually thinking about the other day was if it turned out aliens were real okay like legit for right. real how many of these only fans or just women's in general would want to actually fuck these aliens uh, we're like, asking japan real. japan has joined the chat i'm just <laughs> i'm just asking that would be my curious thing even people in america how oh, many of them would it. just be like man fuck these dudes i'm gonna just fuck an alien she'll like, suck on a tentacle while one's you know she's getting dp'd i mean there's gotta the be DVDA there's shot. gotta be a kink for that right like no. there's gotta be women I mean, secretly is. man if, if aliens the are real then then we're really fucked as a human race now we're just gonna be fucking aliens got hybrids man jesus. maybe it could be beneficial jesus we're screwed that's We're like straight. Men in Black when the when the <laughs> they're driving down the road. The lady's having a baby, and then the, uh, he makes Will Smith deliver oh, it. Yeah. It's a, he's like, "Congratulations, it's a squid." Right? Oh yeah, I remember that. That's it's kind of cute. <laughs> it might be like that. 